Right now at 5, the nun from our area murdered last week is laid to rest. Sister Margaret Held was from Slinger. She and another nun were, t nun were tending to poor people in Mississippi when they were murdered. Veronica Macias is live at St. Joseph's Center with the latest. Veronica. Carol, this was really a celebration of life for Sister Margaret Held. Today, School Sisters of St. Francis said that she knows they would want to celebrate her life, and this is also a realization that they need to be more visible in the community. Right now, they say she would be urging people to be advocates for the poor. The School Sisters of St. Francis say goodbye to Sister Margaret Held inside St. Joseph's Convent Chapel. At 68, she is said to have lived a life that was full and savored every moment. The, the thief could not take anything from Margaret because she had already spent it all for others. Her casket today was surrounded by two families, her family from Slinger and her spiritual family. Her ministry was everything to her. She was committed to the poor and health care education. As a nurse practitioner, she taught those in the field of medicine in Mississippi that patients always needed a dose of compassion. Sister Margaret's inspiration will live through me my entire career in medicine and in my entire life. Those who remembered her today say she was like God's face here on earth. Margaret was like the Eucharist, meant to be shared and broken. Her sisters say that although she is gone, her spirit doesn't die. Her energy and love lives with those she touched. I am comforted and at peace that she has received her heavenly reward, that she worked so hard and selflessly to attain. I love you, Margaret. All of the sisters here today said that Margaret and they do not believe in the death penalty and that they hope that the person responsible for taking Sister Held's life finds the help he needs. Reporting live from St. Joseph's Convent, I'm Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Veronica.